Hello everyone. Uh, what are symbols in Adobe Animate CC? There are three different types of symbols. One, graphic symbol. Two, movie clip symbol. And three, button symbol. Before we jump into our uh, Animate CC file, let me explain the concept of each symbol very briefly. Uh, as you create a new file in Animate CC, we call that uh, movie file. So that means you are a director of your movie. So as a director, uh, you can cast any actor, any actresses, any staff member, any sound designer or anything, anyone, because you are a director. So as a director of my movie file, uh, let's say I'm, I'm casting Tom Cruise as a main actor, this guy. And since I'm a director of this movie, I can call him at any time. I can ask him to run, to jump, or even to fly, uh, and then as much as I want. Okay, so you're the boss of this of your movie file. And the library panel is a kind of a waiting room for the actors, actresses, staff members, or any technicians I need, or even any device. So first, let me explain the difference between the um, um, graphic symbol and movie clip symbol. Graphic symbol is this, static image, doesn't move. And the movie clip symbol, um, I can make him run because he runs uh, in almost every movie, just like this. So this is the biggest difference between those two different symbol types. And button symbol, button symbol has four different stages, up, over, down and hit. Up frame uh, is the original image. Over, when you move your mouse cursor over your button, it may change the color or different shapes or some type of animation. And then um, up over down. Down means when you click your mouse button, something may happen. Uh, maybe, maybe another color or we may have kind of a sound effect. And the hit frame is a kind of invisible frame but it will define where to click. And each symbol, once you move your symbol to your stage, now it is called instance. And so it means the instance is a kind of a copy of your original symbol from the library. So that means uh, one symbol can have multiple instances on your stage. And then each instance can have a different name have a different can have a different function and different kind of a role. Okay, so let's jump into anime CC. Okay, so let's create a new file. Okay, 640 by 480 and then a 24 frame rate and HTML5 canvas. And so I'm not gonna change anything. Okay, so first uh, graphic symbol. Uh, so please download the image, uh, the gear image. That's the transparent pink file. Uh, I made a link, and then please download it. And then we're gonna use that. So go to file, import to library. Um, mine is gear.png. So this one. So check your library. You have the gear.png. So this is the um, this is Tom Cruise. <laughs> okay, so um, there are two different ways of uh, defining your images or graphic symbol. So drag and drop to your stage, just like this. Okay, and then under modify menu, convert to symbol, like this as a graphic symbol gear okay so benefits of uh, being um, this graphic symbol is let's open the properties panel so as a symbol you can change the color effect like a brightness or alpha value you can make it transparent, half transparent, or just 100%. Okay. 
So you can apply this to any graphic symbol. This could be a SVG file from the Illustrator or a JPEG, PNG, or any file, or just the photo images. So um, this is the one way. Another way is, let me delete it, in the library. Uh, on the bottom of your library panel, there is a new symbol button. Or go to um, insert a new symbol. Either way. Okay. As a gear, number two, as a graphic. Then you can have your original gear.png file to here. Okay. So each symbol will have its own timeline like this. Now you can take a look at the um, uh, kind of um, uh, hierarchies on this top left corner of your window. So I'm in uh, gear number two graphic symbol editing window. You can go back to your main stage at any time and then gear two or gear either one, just drag and drop. And this is the um, uh, graphic symbol. Okay, from the properties panel like we did before, you can change the um, uh, brightness, brighter, darker, or you can change the tint value. like this okay so this is a graphic symbol okay now movie clip symbol I have the same gear images here what I'm gonna do is go to insert menu new symbol and name it as a gear underscore move as a movie clip make sure movie clip type okay and now as you can see that I'm in uh, gear underscore move uh, movie clip symbols editing window and this movie clip symbol has its own timeline so it's a kind of independent uh, timeline then uh, let me select my gear.png file and drag and drop into this movie clip symbol okay then I'm going to just rotate it just once. So select the first keyframe, go to insert and create classic twin, and insert the keyframe. Okay. And then select your the, uh, first keyframe, open your properties panel, and uh, let me rotate it clockwise just once. So it will rotate like this. Okay, now let's go back to here and from the library. Now you can see that gear.move, this one, and drag and drop. And let me test the movie under the control movie, control test the movie in browser. See? It is rotating. Okay. And then, since I'm the boss, I'm a director of this movie, I can call him, I can call this uh, running time cruise multiple times, as many as, as, many as I want. So, um, gear move another one. Let me make it a little bit smaller this time. Place it here, place it here, maybe another one, a uh, tiny one. I'm going to place everything in the center and test the movie. Control, test the movie in browser. So three gears rotating. It keeps going. It's kind of looping. Okay, isn't it cool? Let me go back, and there's another thing you can try. Uh, let me delete uh, the first one, big one, and the little one. I'm going to place it top left corner, and then this time, let me highlight the first keyframe, insert, create motion twin this time, and insert the keyframe. And on your second keyframe, make sure that you play head on the uh, frame number 24, 
And let me move this gear to the bottom right corner. So now you can see that it is moving like this. Let me test the movie in browser. It does this. Okay, let me go back. Uh, now you can see this kind of a path. And then place your mouse cursor somewhere in the middle of your path. You can see the little arc on the bottom. And just to drag it, push or pull. And test the movie. It does this. Even you can insert new keyframe in the middle somewhere. Insert a keyframe. And let me choose my Fred tra Transform tool. I'm going to make it maybe an even bigger. Or I can distort it like this. I can move down. So this will happen. Yep, so this is a movie clip symbol. Okay, and the last button symbol. Let me create insert a new symbol. This time button. And I'm going to make a enter button. So enter. Okay. So in here, as you can see that uh, there are only four frames in button symbols window. Up, over, down, and hit. So like I said at the beginning, up is the original image or the text or the any, any images, any visuals. Over, when you roll over, you may have a different effect, like a different color or different shapes or animation. Down means when you click on it, something may happen. And hit, it will define uh, the clickable area. So let me show you this. On off frame, we're going to have just a black text. Um, let me say just enter. Enter. Oh, not this typeface. Let me use um, just error black, some bold one. Okay, so enter off frame. So this is the original file, original uh, black text. And insert a keyframe first. So now up and over, it's the same text color. On over frame, I'm going to change my text color to maybe I'm red, just like this. So meaning, when we open, we see this, enter black black text, when we mouse, uh, move the mouse cursor over the black text, it will change it to red. Down, I may keep the same color, but uh, let me change it, let me give another color. On down frame, insert a keyframe. So we have over and down is the same. On down frame, let me change my text color to this time blue. Okay, so up black, over red, down blue. Let me go back to main stage, back to the stage, open the library, and place your enter button. Okay, and control, test move in browser. Okay, let me put, so this is up frame. Let me move my mouse cursor over text. It turns to red. When I click it, blue. Okay? But there's a kind of a tricky part. When I place my mouse cursor over my text stroke precisely, it works fine. But if I move my mouse cursor between the text, it doesn't work. So that's why we need to use hit frame. So double click your enter button from the library to open your editing panel. So up, over, down, and hit. I'm going to insert another keyframe, but your hit frame is invisible. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to cover up my text with the um, rectangle. Color doesn't matter. So that means 
this blue area will be clickable area. So let me go back to main stage and let me test the movie again. Control, test the movie in browser. Up, over, see? It works much better. It works between the text, between the letter, and down. Okay, so that means some silly thing is, let me try some silly thing. On hit frame, if I draw a huge rectangle or huge square like this, back to the main stage, looks the same, but when I control and test the movie, my clickable area is very wide. See? That's the size of that blue square. Okay, I hope the, um, this is clear to understand. Okay, so um, that's it uh, for today. Graphic symbol, movie clip symbol, and button symbol. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.